Yo, what is going on you guys? Welcome back to another Madden 19 Ultimate Team video. Uh, thankfully, if you guys did watch my previous video, I did have a horrible bout of, you know, food poisoning or whatever. But I'm back, I'm ready to go, and we have Market Monday back on tap for Madden 19 Ultimate Team. It is back, and hopefully better than ever. Uh, hopefully you guys don't get upset with some of the methods I will show every single Monday. I know a lot of people are probably going to be like, you know what? And eh, this kind of hurts a little bit. People are going to be doing this a lot. But this is what my channel has always been about, helping people out. Giving you guys the best methods that I know on how to make coins every single Monday. Letting you guys in on the secrets that all the guys are using in the Skype calls and, you know, in the community in general. A lot of this information could be just known easily by, you know, being on Twitter or being in our Skype call. For instance, uh, we do have a lot of cool methods here to make coins. So without further ado, let's get on into it. We have three things we want to go over. This is going to be kind of the tutorial of Market Monday. Uh, well, not really a tutorial, but just the beginning, you know, planting the seeds of, you know, starting off Madden 19 and, you know, just little methods here and there. So the first thing we want to go over is wanting to let you guys know about rookie cards. So a lot of people may have a lot of core rookies that they're saving up, um, you know, for the Ezekiel Elliott. And a lot of people don't realize some of these guys go for a lot of coins, especially the high overall ones. For example, <clears throat> we have Quentin Nelson here. Quentin Nelson, uh, one is up for 8K, but this guy usually sells for about 9.7K. If you guys have a lot of core rookies, you may not even understand, you may not realize that these guys are all going for a lot of coins. You guys might want to go ahead and consider, you know, getting rid of some of them now. I actually got rid of all my expensive ones. Uh, these guys, I know you're probably thinking like, wait, 7K, 9K, that's not expensive. Well, if you take a look at some of the other guys on the auction house right now, which I will do live for you, uh, you can see every single one I just showed you is about 5K to 9K. If we take a look <clears throat> at a guy like Saquon Barkley, for example, uh, Saquon Barkley, rookie card, 79 overall, you won't believe his price. So let's take a look at Saquon Barkley here, and uh, we can see... That Saquon Barkley is currently going for 25,000 coins. Yes, 25,000 coins. You may not realize that a 79 overall card in your binder, albeit it is Saquon Barkley, <clears throat> he is going for 25,000 coins. Uh, so don't be putting him into any sets. Don't be selling him uh, for cheap. Don't be quick selling him for training. Uh, definitely make sure if you guys have any Saquon Barkleys. That's a lot of coins to be had right there for Saquon Barkley for sure. Uh, other guys, you know, that are going for a lot, Roquan Smith, um, obviously, you know, super high overall guys. Just remember who the high overall players were um, in the draft, and you more than likely have a lot of coins, you know, just sitting there waiting to be, you know, just sold. So here's Roquan Smith. Uh, once we find him, I don't really know how to spell Roquan. I think R-O-Q, but uh, here we go. We have Traquan Smith, Brendan Smith. Uh, here's Roquan Smith. Again, like I said, a lot of the guys are like 9K, 10K, uh, Saquon Barkley being 25K. Uh, there's a lot of other guys too, guys. Like, I'm, I'm being serious. Like, a lot of these guys are so much. I think Sam Darnold might be one of them. So, D-A-R-N-O-L. So, it's Sam Darnold. Uh, and he's actually only 6.4K. Is Sam Darnold really only a 77 overall? I thought he was a 79. Uh, but, yeah, a lot of core rookies, guys. I'm going to go ahead and just show you the guys core rookies quality 70. I think we can go 70... 5 to 79 yep here we go here are all the core rookies 75 to 79 so obviously the 75 overall guys are going to be a little bit less expensive but as we move down the list like we're looking at guys that are like 5.5 Rashawn Evans Jair Alexander uh we're looking at guys that are like 7.9 8k like Quentin Nelson Minka Fitzpatrick um Tremaine Edmonds 9k uh Jason Sanders a kicker 8k uh we keep going down Mike McGlinchey 11k Bradley Chubb 11k uh, 10k actually 10.7k Colton Miller Derwin James up to 12k Baker Mayfield 17k um, Lamar Jackson 25k again that's another one I wanted to mention uh, Lamar Jackson being one of the fastest cards in the game right now uh, at quarterback you know a really nice backup to have if you want to run with your QB really works out well in uh, solo battles for sure that's my backup QB um, you know just overall a lot of the rookies are going for a lot Baker Mayfield Lamar Jackson and Saquon Barkley to be exact those three if you have them in your binder you might want to consider selling them because they are a ton of coins now the next thing we want to go over here is the prices of gold cards let's go to my binder for this example 
I do have a ton of core golds that I'm saving, trying to figure out what to do with them. I might end up just selling them, but here are my core golds, and you see I have a lot of, you know, 79s here. A lot of the 79 overall players are going for a ton of coins, guys. Like, it's almost ridiculous how much the golds are going for. Here is Weston Richburg. He's already up over the 10k mark. This is a little bit of a, you know, uh, person trying to put up a card for, you know, less than what he's actually going for, which is about 11k. He sells consistently for about 11 to 12k. This guy's trying to sell it for 9. Uh, just like, like I said, for example, um, if you have a high overall gold, 79, you might just want to look at it. They all go for a lot of coins. All 75 to 79 seem to go for at least 4 all the way up to 10, 12k. Uh, Trey Waynes, for example, 5k. There's a I mean, these are actually lots and lots of coins. I mean, I know it's only 5K, but add it all up. You know, this is going to be like a 4K card here. If I sold every single one of my 79, uh, you know, 75 to 79s, which I have about 560. If I sold all these for even just, I don't know. Let's say, for example, I sold them for even just 2K a piece. So if I sold 200, or 550 cards at 2k a piece that's 1.1 million but like i said there are some that go for 4k there are some that go for 10k there are some that even go upwards to 15k so you could just imagine how many coins i could actually make just by clearing my binder like you guys don't understand don't be putting these guys in the sets do not put the 75s the 79s into sets unless you know how much you're actually putting into your you know set there are so many of them that are going for a lot. There's no specific players that I can really mention. You just have to take a look at them. Use the L1 feature or the LB feature on Xbox to make sure, you know, what your guys are going for. And this isn't just 75 to 79s, guys. There are some that are 70 overall that go for a ton. So let's take a look at 70 to 74. Let's take a look at the lower overall cards here. And let's take a look at some of these guys. So... Think of Team Diamonds that are expensive. Team Diamonds that people want to go for. So one being, uh, you know, someone that's not exactly insanely hard to do, but a lot of people are trying to get them done, Adrian Amos. Let's take a look at, you know, some of these Bears guys. So here's John Jenkins, and uh, he's a 70 overall card, and he's going for about 3K. So 3K for a, you know, low overall gold is pretty good. Here's Jordan Morgan, and he's currently going for only 1K, so there's a dud. But uh, just take a look at guys, like I said, that have Team Diamonds that you might expect uh, people are struggling to find cards for. So that was a Bears, for example. I don't have too many of them. I actually sold a lot of them. Uh, if we take a look at a, another team, maybe like the Jacksonville Jaguars. A lot of people are trying to get Jalen Ramsey. Um, I don't have any, but if you have a Corey Grant, Corey Grant is actually one of the most expensive gold cards right now. I think he's going for about 12 to 15 k uh, So if you have him, I would definitely recommend selling him. But again, you know, just random Jaguars cards here, uh, 1.2K, not, you know, these are not terrible either. Like, these are a lot of coins for, you know, just low overall golds. You wouldn't imagine, you know, sm you know, tiny uh, overall golds on the Jaguars going for like 2K and whatnot. Uh, again, I've sold a lot of them, but just take a look at some of the Team Diamond golds and, you know, try to make your decision based on what you want to do with them, uh, you, you know, for yourself. If you want to put them into the set, you want to sell them. Go ahead and go for it. I do want to show you guys Corey Grant, though. I know I should have kept a couple in my binder so I could show you the exact prices. But here is Corey Grant, uh, for example, of the Jacksonville Jaguars. And um, like I said, he is going for about 13 to 15K. And uh, a lot of that's probably due to his speed. You see a lot of people are buying him maybe to do, like, the rushing solo and whatnot. Uh, but a lot of the guys are buying him for, you know, the Team Diamond set. A lot of people want to do that Jalen Ramsey. And, you know, that's pretty much... All there is to that so yeah golds go for a lot is the moral of the story if you have golds in your binder make sure you're looking at them before putting them into sets now the next thing I want to go over is you're probably wondering why I have 25 packs saved up and why I'm gonna have a lot more I have base offensive playbook fantasy packs now you could go ahead and do the Falcons you could do the Patriots you could do the Titans it doesn't matter you could do the Saints every one of these playbooks are gonna go for about 9 to 10 K now, this is a method that you can use to either make coins or clear your binder faster. 
Let's go ahead and take a look at how much that playbook is that I just went ahead and opened in a pack. And I'll let you guys know how to get one yourself and how to make coins doing it. So here's the Patriots playbook. Uh, currently up for about 8K. And, uh, you know, this is either going to be, you know, 8K all the way up to 10K, depending on the time of day uh, that you want to sell it at. Again, other playbooks are going to be going for, you know, more. Other playbooks are going to be going for less. Uh, I have a couple of Patriots offensive playbooks in here, and I have a Ravens defense. I want to show you guys, though, why they are worth doing. So if we go ahead and take a look at what it costs to make an offensive playbook, and I don't want to be here uh, too long. I don't want to be, you know, keeping you guys too long in this video, so I'll try to make this quick. If you go to Silver Tokens, uh, you have to make a Silver Token to create a playbook. I don't know if you guys know this or not. You need 562 to 65s and 566 to 69s. Now, each and every single one of these can be got on the auction house for about 600 coins a piece, which is going to be 3K for this row and 3K for this row. So you're looking at about 6,000 coins, or if you have them already in your binder and you're trying to clear them out, you could do it very, very quickly uh, just by, you know, going into your binder, finding the cards you want to throw into the auction uh, or throw into the set, get them in there, you know, clear your binder out as fast as you can. Again, um, game's a little bit glitchy right now, but uh, clear your binder as fast as you can, get this done, put them in there, you know, and then you'll have your silver token right from here. You can go ahead and click on the silver token and make it quicker, add to a set, and right there at the very top, offensive playbook. You grab the offensive playbook, you open it up, and you pick the team that you want to sell. Let's just say, for example, let's go for the Falcons, see how much that's going for right now. Again, you can look this up on the auction house beforehand if you want to make it a little bit quicker um, instead of, you know, just blindly guessing of what's going for the most. Uh, usually, like I say, I do the Patriots, I do the Falcons, I do the Titans, I do the Saints, and they are usually going for in and around 10K at the time. And you make a little bit of profit each time you do it. And it's just an overall faster way to clear your binder. So there we go. Falcons offense currently selling for 10,000 coins. And that is a profit of about what? Uh, about 3K because of tax, 3.5K. Um, so there you go. That one just got bought live for 10K. I'm not going to keep you guys any longer. Hopefully this video did help you guys out a lot. Clearing your binder and getting ready for more and more promos throughout the year. I know a lot of people probably have a lot of cards saved up after ripping tons and tons of bundles and you know, whatever you guys may do. Uh, but that is gonna be Market Monday. If you guys wanna see more, please go ahead and show me by giving the video a like, subscribing to the channel if you are new, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.